The 2017 Wells Fargo Championship is now complete. The final round featured some of the best in the world going at that top prize, including world number one, Dustin Johnson. After an up and down start, DJ would come roaring back down the stretch, making clutch shot after clutch shot, including dropping in a par following this shot out of the woods. On 18, Johnson was eight under, one shot out of the lead at that time. He has an opportunity for birdie, and he gets it. Johnson puts himself in the first place position, but shortly after that, Pat Perez would follow Johnson down 18, sitting in the second place spot at eight under as well. Perez, for the birdie and the tie, he gets it to go. We now have a two-way tie for first place. But then comes Brian Harmon. He birdied on 17 to force a three-way tie at nine under with one hole left for the American. I wasn't gonna go for it if it was on, because there's a little bit of a downhill slope there. And I was like, if my ball's on the downhill slope, I'm not gonna go for it. But he would go for the risk reward shot using his three wood and end up in the middle of the media off the green. Harmon would chip it up where he sat 29 feet from the hole. Brian Harmon for the outright lead. Your 2017 Wells Fargo champion, Brian Harmon. I'd be lying if I didn't say I had a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I mean, this is the first time I've been interviewed all week. And they had the jacket 40 long, so I think they already had it set up for Dustin. <laughs> I want to keep competing. I want to keep getting myself in position to win tournaments. It's, it's what I love to do. It's what I, when I lay down at night, it's what I think about. So for me, it's, it's about winning tournaments and it's about, it's about getting in contention. So it's Brian Harmon, the first winner of a PGA Tour event here in Wilmington in over 40 years. What a week it's been, but that will do it from Eagle Point. Dustin Dorsey, WWAY News.